Hi there, Rob Green here from FSW UK. Uh, this video I just want to introduce you to a product that we have sold for a number of years but not many engineers in the UK are maybe fully aware of. Um, it's a product from CPS, it's called the VPA S8 and it's a anti-siphon valve. Well, to me and you it's a non-return valve. Now basically, uh, in this little um, blister pack you get five items. You get the actual valve body itself and what this valve is very clever at doing it's converting your existing vacuum pump um, to having a non-return valve on there so if you inadvertently or somebody inadvertently shuts the power off um, while it's in a deep vacuum it doesn't suck the vacuum or the system doesn't suck the vacuum pump oil out of the sump of the vacuum pump into the system okay and how it does it is very simple there's obviously a, a non-return valve built into this body but in the kit you actually get these five items you get a quarter adapter a three eight and a half inch and you get the valve body itself with some loctite um, 545 um, thread sealant so you basically choose which outlet adapter you want in this case I'm going for the half inch one you would um, drop a, a, a single drop or two drops of Loctite sealant on there screw it into the valve body itself and then there you have it you have your adapter you've got a 3.8 SE fitting um, going on to the vacuum pump and then on this occasion we got half inch going out okay but you could equally put um, uh, 3.8 or quarter I would recommend a minimum of 3.8 coming out of the vacuum pump okay um, so let's yes, have a look at it. So let's take a standard uh, vac pump that doesn't have a non-return valve. This fancy one here on my left um, is a new R32 model from Valley when it obviously clearly has um, an electric solenoid valve that if the power is killed to it, the valve shuts off automatically. So let's go back to this one, undo the 3.8 valve cap. Screw it on and there we go. You can put your large bore half inch port on you or if you add the, the 3.8 adapter you put your 3.8 port to your manifold and onto your system. So this is extremely cheap. Um, it's available on the FSW UK website um, and it's also available in any one of our 24 branches. So the benefit of this is quite clear. You don't need to be buying or investing in a new vac pump. If you've already got one of these, you simply buy an anti-siphon valve or a non-return valve. You don't necessarily have to upgrade unless you don't want to buy in a new fancy vacuum pump with um, built-in solenoid valve. So there you go. Hopefully that helps you to make a decision. Personally, I think every engineer should have one on their standard vac pump. It saves any hassle uh, potentially with sucking up the vac pump. Also, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye now.